What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. And here's my next episode of Joe Winko Talk. So, what I'm going to be talking about in this episode, it's another creepy topic. It's not really morbid or anything. Well, it is a little bit, depending on how you think of it. But it's, it is creepy, nonetheless, even though it's not really morbid. So, there's this creepy video that went viral in year 2009, and it's of this, like, robot doll that's singing. Well, it's not, like, robot doll. It's like a... Yeah, it is a robot, but it's life-size and everything, and it's supposed to look like a human and everything. And it looks really creepy, and it's gone viral online and got a lot of attention back then. And, uh, I actually have the video right now, and I'm gonna show it to you guys and do a little reaction to it. So, yeah, let me get it started. One second. Let me just load it up. Okay. Alright. Three, two, one, now. How creepy this is? <laughs> Gosh. Then they show a backyard for no reason. fantastic and incredibly freaked out right now. Yeah, good for you. So, um, yeah, that was basically, that was the whole video, and it went viral in 2009, and, uh, now, people weren't well, back then, people weren't really sure of where the video came from or it, or of its origin at all. And apparently, here's what one person thought. All right, it's like, it dates back to a Greek mythology story. That's what they thought this was about. They thought that whoever made the step, I mean, whoever made the the um, the robot was like was like a pie pie gil pie pig. Pygmillion? Pygmillion? Pygmillion, I think that's how you pronounce it. Pygmillion? Now, that's a Greek mythology story. It's this man who, uh, he didn't like, he wasn't compatible with any woman, so he built himself a statue, and he was an artist. He built himself this perfect statue, and, uh, the Greek gods 
all thought that the statue was so nice and they felt so sympathetic for this guy because he couldn't get a girlfriend at all. So they turned the statue into a real woman and then they fell in love. So that's what they think this story is about. The guy who made this, uh, who made this robot is in love with this robot. And uh, that theory isn't really thought of very much. Not many people believe that was it. But here's one they did believe. So apparently, these guys thought, a lot of people online, when they first saw that video, they came up with this whole theory that the guy who films this video was a serial killer. And uh, the, the clothes that that robot is wearing is the clothes that his victims were wearing when he killed them. And um, he buried them... And like when they show the shot, the shot of the of the backyard, that was his burial ground for the victims. He buried all his victims in the back in the backyard that they shown. And also, um, the reason why she sings "I Feel Fantastic" is because the killer couldn't stand like how the victims screamed and how they cried out in agony when he was killing them. So that's why he made the, the robot say "I Feel Fantastic" and. That's actually really creepy, but it's not true. They know where the video came from and everything. But before before I say where the video came from, let me give you my interpretation of the video. Now, this is being said, if I didn't know the real origin of the video, I wouldn't believe this, but this is what I would believe if I... I mean, this is what I would believe if I didn't know the true... To where that video came from. So... This is what I think. I think that video would have been made by a girl. A girl who's really, really, really intelligent. So she makes a, she makes a robot that can sing, and the robot's supposed to be her, really. And she's singing, I feel fantastic, because she's built the robot to build up her ego and her self-esteem, because she gets bullied in school. So she has the robot saying, I feel fantastic, and the robot's supposed to be her, and the robot's supposed to be her feeling fantastic. But also, if you paid attention to what the robot was singing in that video, you hear the robot sing, run, 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 please leave, please leave. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but if you listen to it again, you can hear the robot sing that, run, run, please leave. I think when she says, run, run, please leave, when she says run run, she means that she's running away from the people who are bullying her. And uh, when she says please leave, she means the bullies, can they please leave her alone? And then they show the shot of the backyard. Now the backyard can be thought of in different ways. Maybe the backyard was a place she went to whenever she got sad. Or maybe the backyard, like how it's empty and everything, shows how her soul how deep down inside she feels empty, so that's why. So she decided to represent it with an empty backyard, or maybe the empty backyard can mean like how she's all alone and she has no one to like play with at all. So she just goes to the backyard and she's in the backyard all by herself. So that could be like a symbol of what the backyard means. So um, yeah, let me let me know what you guys think of that. Do you guys think my theory? Or my perception on that video makes sense, because I think it kind of does. And uh, if you guys seriously want to know, the video was, uh, that video was really recorded by a man named John Berger, Bergeron, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but he had that video on a website, and it, that video is actually really old, it's from 2004, and, um, I think he was, he was trying, he built that doll, I mean the robot, to do live concerts with it, but it didn't go over so well. And you used to be able to buy her videos on the website, but now it's, uh, the website isn't there anymore. And so, yeah, that's where it came from. No serial killer or anything like that, just a guy messing with a robot, having fun. And then it ended up being a viral video that leaked online and uh, creeped everyone out. <laughs> and you know, to be honest with you, I actually sp feel kind of inspired to make a Sims 2 horror movie based off of that video. About a crazy doll that comes to life and starts killing everyone. I know I already did that, done that with my movie Marcy Doll, but I'd be able to remake it with like 
something else, like add a different kind of storyline and a different kind of plot. So, yeah. And by the way, my horror movie, Friday the 13th Part 2, is on its way. I need some help with the meshes, though, because, um, yeah, I do need help with the meshes. I couldn't really find any custom mesh or mod makers, but I'm going to keep looking, though. And uh, I still need some voiceovers, too. So I'll have a link in the description if you want to audition for that. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. And let me know what you think of that video. Did it creep you out or anything? And don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to like my fan page on Facebook. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And that's it. So peace out, people.